VC, what's up? Um, Charlie here. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. Almost Christmas. I ha actually have already gotten my Christmas gifts, and I'll do that in another video tomorrow or the next day, whenever I get around to it. But anyway, there is um, a record store on the way to my grandparents' house, which I went to yesterday and came back today for our Christmas down at my grandparents' house. And on the way back, I stopped and got some really cool stuff. And then I also got three vinyls at my um, grandparents' house, uh, which I'll explain the story of that afterward. But I spent a total of $50 at this record store. This is what I got. A bunch of good stuff. So, I'll just start out with what's playing in the background. It's 10 years after Alvin Lee and Company. I love uh, 10 years after. I don't have too many of their albums, but I was really glad to find another one. It's that one. And already had this album, UK, but this is actually a Canadian copy, and um, I have the Japanese pressing of this album, and let me turn the music down real quick, but anyway, um, I have the Japanese in this, and the Japanese is the only pressing of this that I've seen that has a gatefold. All the other pressings do not have gatefolds. And had to buy that because I'm a really big fan of John Wetton because he was in King Crimson, which is my favorite band. This was cool to find. Um, I'd never seen one of their albums before, so this was $3, so I had to buy it. It's uh, Frigid Pink. This is their self-titled album. It's just $3 on Parrot Records. So that one was really cool. And I've seen some other people talk about this album, and they had it for $3. Um, so uh, I had to get it. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm really excited to. It's Synergy Sequences, or Sequencer. I'm sorry about that. And I really love the artwork on this. Really good artwork. So that's really cool. And there's the, there's the gatefold. I think Larry Fast is the guy, yeah, Larry Fast is the guy that does this, and it's on the Passport Records. All good signs that this is good. And most of the records I bought at this place were three dollars. Really good prog stuff that I didn't have. Um, this one, I was so happy to get this one because. Uh, of King Crimson. Um, it's Robert Fripp and Andy Summers. This is I Advance Masked. Haven't listened to this yet. Once again, I just got home. I, I've only played like two of these records. So, really excited to find this. It's a funny story about this one is um, <clears throat> there's a record store down at school, Tennessee Tech, where I go, and it's the only record store there. And they had this record, and I don't know why. I guess the price it was like seven bucks. And I went in there three times, and it, it was there. So the, the last time I came, I was like, oh, I'm buying it this time. I get there, it's gone. And I was really depressed about that. But luckily, this place had a copy for even cheaper. So I guess it was predestined that I did not buy it there. Next one, another $3 album, Wishbone Ash. Live dates, I love Wishbone Ash. They're really good. I love Argus. It's a double, double set, and it also has a little booklet and stuff, kind of like song remains the same, Led Zeppelin, except it's not attached to the actual album. Next one, I was really excited to find this one, except the case, I'll probably have to get an upgraded copy of this one at some point, because the jacket 
is pretty bad off, but the record's pretty good. It's Genesis Live, Genesis' first live album. If you can see, there's a bunch of bends and tears, well not tears, but bends in the jacket. But the, the vinyl is actually pretty, pretty decent shape. This one, I have not ever had this album. I do not know why. This has never been in my collection. I really don't know why, but he was a dollar, so I bought it. It's Doobie Brothers Greatest Hits. Next one, um, I've seen this album several places, and the, the price was just right. Here was three dollars yet again. Um, it's Golden Earring. I have never listened to them before, but I'm really excited about listening to this one. And it, it's To The Hilt, that's the name of the album. Next, really glad to find this one um, for three dollars as well. Uh, Elegy, or Elegy, Elegy, one of the two. The Nice, I love The Nice, with Keith Emerson, really great stuff. And I love the cover art. It's just really good art. Next two, I was glad to find. Both of them for $3. Basically, all the ones I got were $3. Except the last one I'll show. But, um, the Straubs. And this is Bursting at the Seams. Most of these have a little bit of ring wear, but who cares? They're, they're real cheap. Uh, the Straubs. This is Hero and the Heroine. Heroine, whatever. How do you call that? Is that the word? Next one. Really glad to find this one as well. Renaissance Live at Carnegie Hall. This one I'm really looking forward to listening to. There's the collage on the inside. Now, Renaissance is a really good prog band. Their stuff is not very. kind of hard to find that's I was trying to think of the word there but it, I don't run into it too much at least where I am but I was glad I've never seen this this album before so I was really excited to find that one another one yet again very excited to find this one um, I did not have this one and I'm a big fan of this band and I'm really really excited to listen to this one it's Nectar Magic is a Child or Nectar However you want to say it, I can say Nectar because just that's how I first said it. That's probably how I always say it. Can't wait to listen to that one. And this one um, was two dollars. It's really, really, really cheap compared to other places I've seen it. Just because it's a pretty big name band, but I had this album. Um, but it's just horrible shape. It's Tormato, yes. Mine is just really bad shape, but this one, other than the little cut right there, is pretty mint. The jacket doesn't have ring wear at all, and the vinyl is just not as scratch on that. I'm really looking to uh, forward to replacing a lot of my Yes albums, because most of my Yes is actually pretty messed up. It's all scratched and tore. I have an exception of a few of them that are in good condition. But uh, anyway, this um, album I just bought because of the cover. But um, it, I played this one. It is so good. It is so good. It is a Japanese pressing, and. Um, it's called Session 2, but the artwork is just so good on this. And this, this is jazz fusion, kind of real funky kind of stuff. It's instrumental. It's, it's really good. If you ever run into this, buy it. You will not be disappointed. Because I really wasn't expecting what it was, considering the cover, but after I put it on, I was like, I don't really care. This is really good. And it sounds so good. The recording quality on this is so good. But I researched this and there's not much 
not much on this thing, but if you happen to run into this, pick it up because uh, it'll probably be cheap because no one probably has heard of this really. But really great, really great stuff. Now I'm going to flip the record real quick. And these next three are the ones that I got at my grandparents. And before I show them, um, I'm going to say tell the story how I, how I got these. So um, we were exchanging gifts, and after everything was said and done, um, my cousin. Well, first of all, my cousin is from New York, and. New York City and he, he came down for the holidays and he's really cool he's in a band and all that kind of stuff um, but he we were taught we got to talking about records and uh, he was like hey dad uh, are my records gonna get warped in the garage and then as soon as he said that I was like there's records in there I gotta take a look at those so he got them and there, he had a big box of them and a lot of the stuff I didn't know is real indie kind of stuff. Mo almost all of his records were new vinyl. It's not any old stuff. But, um, I was just looking through them and there was, uh, he had two coffee. well first of all, he had two copies of this one, so he was just like, here, take this one. I was like, okay. So, free vinyl, I mean, come on. It's Jens Lechman. I've never heard of him, but he said I'd probably like this. I haven't played it yet. Really looking forward to it. And this came out in 2007. And he said he was a German guy, something like that. I'm not sure. But the album is called Night Falls Over Cortedilla. I don't know. But he had two copies of this. And then I was flipping through these records and this is I am so thankful he gave me these because this stuff that he that I'm about to show is worth a lot of money and he just handed it to me because he said he probably will never listen to it again but here's the first one I still can't believe I have this now it's the Mars Volta Francis the Mute and this is the 12-inch single. And the reason he gave me this is because he was just like randomly, have you, do you know the Mars Volta? And I was like, yes, I love the Mars Volta. I've seen them. But, and it's kind of funny that when I saw them, I had no idea who they were. But here's the, here's the vinyl. It's blue marble or aqua greenish marble. I played this one and it is so good. The first side is Francis the Mute, and side B is the Widow live acoustic version. And it was recorded, it says in the Dead Wax where it's recorded, at a place called Gewiltern. Don't know where that is, but it's really good. Alright, here's the cream of the crop. What he gave me. I looked on eBay, this record is going from upwards $150 just this this one album and I still cannot believe he just handed this to me and said have it and it is the Mars Volta Francis the Mute and this is a great album and it is a triple disc really nice and this his vinyl is all mint he kept it in such great condition and there's the back it's kind of inverted but this one only um, five of the six sides are used side six is actually etched there's the etch side if I can get it in the light there it is so that is very cool and that's what all the vinyl looks like just mint not a single scratch on it
And that is my vinyl update of today. Um, I am going to make another video pretty soon with all the stuff I got for Christmas. And it's some really nice stuff too, so I'll see you guys later.